The biggest thing that makes it different than anything else in the Air Force is the fact that you are never in harm's way. You can be out there hacking the mission, putting warheads on targets, and if something happens to the aircraft, you're still gonna walk away, you're gonna get another aircraft, and you're gonna, you're gonna start flying again. There's a misconception that you're not fully involved in the combat. You feel as though you're right in it. You hear exactly what's going on over their radio. It's you and your pilot and the troops on the ground, you're their help. Despite the fact that you're geographically separated, the impact at the end of the day, it's very clear. You've given them the confidence to drive forward on the ground when you've made their life so much easier. They're in charge of the multispectral targeting system and the lasers that we also use for that. Depending on the situation, they might be in charge of developing a search plan in some cases. They're also backing up the pilot on any decisions that he makes. Then, of course, at the very end, would be employing the weapons. Once that weapon is released, our job is to terminally guide those in with our lasers spotting that actual target. What sensor operators find most rewarding about this career field is the impact that it has on the daily mission. There is no other career field where you get to have an impact on the Air Force's mission and then get to go home and go for a hike or have dinner with your family.